Hello and welcome. If you're building a racing game and you want tires to leave marks when you drift, you're gonna have to use a trail renderer. So here is an example of how it's going to work. To do this, you're gonna need a separate script, but since I have a car effect script, I'm just gonna use this one instead. So open that up, and in here, you're gonna need three functions. One function is going to, to check constantly if we're drifting or not, and the other two are going to be flag functions which are going to start emitting and stop emitting the skid marks. A little explanation for this is that in here we're checking for drifting and the checking is done with the input manager dot handbrake the handbrake is activated when we press the space key if it is start emitting if it's not stop the emitting the flags are used to start the emitter just once is instead of starting it every single frame and then to start it we're using a for each statement and we're obviously using uh, tire marks, which is a trail render uh, game object. In your inspector, you should have a tire marks uh, empty slot. In here, just pass in the amount of elements you want and you choose four game objects that are most cases empty. Since I'm using a smoke system that is already placed in the bottom of each wheel, I can use that as an anchor point for the trail renderer. Add in a new component, trail renderer. Inside here, we have to uncheck the emitting and uncheck the lightning. After you've done that, drag and drop your game objects into the array that we just made. Now, if we play our game, here is what we get. Now the reason it's like pink like this is because it doesn't have a material. So in your particles, choosing a black material or whatever you want to maybe use. And also make the width much, much smaller. Okay, now let's add a audio system that plays back when we drift. Now in here, we, we're gonna need a new audio source and we need to play that audio source whenever we are emitting the tire smoke. Into your inspector, create a audio source and drag and drop it into your skid clip. Into your audio source, uncheck play on awake and make sure it's at uh, 3D. The audio source I'm using for this is this skid track. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it into the audio clip. Okay, let's make that audio source a little bit quieter. 